you guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be breaking down the trailer for Armageddon Part 2, so the second part of the crossover, also known as Episode 2 of Season 8. Obviously it has a lot of names, but nevertheless, we're going to be breaking down the trailer in this video. Also, we got the synopsis and some photos to go over, so it's going to be a everything you need to know before Episode 2 comes out type of video. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. You can also click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my review for last night's premiere, which is also the first episode of the Armageddon crossover. Make sure to check that out, it is an extensive video, but I promise you there's a lot of stuff that needs to be broken down and I think it's definitely worth the watch but for now let's go ahead and jump into the trailer so we're gonna go over the trailer first and then we're going to jump into the photos but actually before we do that we should go over the synopsis to give you a rough idea about what's going down in Armageddon part 2 so the flash seeks help from black lightning Despero warns the flash that great tragedies will befall the speedster and cause him to lose his mind once that happens, Armageddon will begin. Determined to prove Despero wrong, Barry doubles down on proving his innocence, but a devastating realization from Iris pushes him to the edge and sends him back to seek counsel from Black Lightning. And so this is obviously airing next week, it's episode 2 of season 8. So yeah, that pretty much gives you an idea of what's going down. Barry's going to be going around as a hero and saving loads of people, trying to prove himself innocent. It's interesting that whatever Iris's revelation is, is what causes Barry to realise that maybe he needs some counselling from Black Lightning. Who returns in this episode? Obviously very excited to see Black Lightning. He is the second major cast member from the Arrowverse to show up in Armageddon. Obviously Ray was in the last episode and Ray was great. But now we have Black Lightning and he's going to be appearing in multiple episodes which is very exciting. And so he's going to be seeking counsel from Black Lightning and they're going to meet in the Hall of Justice and we'll talk about the Hall of Justice in just a moment because it does feature later in some of the photos. But basically Barry is going to be trying to prove himself to Despero that he isn't the guy that he promises he is 10 years down the line in the future. You know, the guy that causes the destruction of Earth. But obviously not everything goes to plan. So let's go ahead and jump into the trailer. So the first shot of the trailer is Barry talking to Iris and Barry says, Despero says I'm going to destroy the world and this is definitely the conversation that makes him change his mind obviously with what Iris says and she doesn't have any lines in the trailer so we don't have any kind of suggestion as of right now of what it could be. We move on from this, we have what I believe is Caitlin shining a blue light on Barry and Allegra says the line Barry isn't a threat to us, and obviously she's talking about us in terms of Team Flash. It looks like they're going to be suspecting that Barry might actually turn and become the person that Despero promises. And it looks like whatever Caitlyn is holding up to Barry's face is some sort of scanner, maybe to look into his mind it would seem, because why would she be scanning like from his brain area like literally right next to his face it does look like they're maybe checking like his brain activity or something to see if anything has changed since his interactions with Despero and finding out about all of this so Despero also returns to Star Labs in this trailer so it seems like Barry and him are going to be squaring off a couple times throughout this episode there's also the outside stuff which we'll get to in a minute but it seems like Barry is completely adamant on showing that he is innocent and so he keeps on calling Despero back from wherever he is coming from. Obviously he is a time traveller from the future, he's also an alien. Perhaps they find out what alien race he is from this episode because that was teased at the end of last episode. And throughout these shots Barry is asking one big question. He says, what will cause me to turn my back on everything I've sworn to protect? And in reply, Despero says, madness. The mind will crack, and with it, the world ends. So, Barry is going to be on absolute alert about his mind and the way that he is going to be interacting as a hero and as a person. He can't do anything that will step over the line and be considered dark or be considered anything that he wouldn't do because then Team Flash is going to spike that up as like a possibility of him changing and actually enacting this Armageddon that Despero promises will happen in the future. This shot in the trailer shows Barry as he's running and he's at some sort of like car park 
and there's just two random citizens here and he gets really close and it sort of scares them which I think is one of the signs it's something to do with like spatial boundaries and you know scaring people essentially but it's in this scene where he actually meets Despero again and it looks like it's more just for conversation rather than an actual battle doesn't seem like they're gonna have a proper fight for at least a couple of episodes until the end of the Armageddon crossover. But for now, let's move on to the next shot. This is inside Star Labs and Barry is in the room and he is looking at what presumably is the future because obviously with the help of Gideon here who is returning in this episode in the form of, you know, being in this device that Reverse Flash already made, she's going to give Barry all the details about what he does in the future similar to the past seasons where we had the newspaper and we had all the tellings of what was to come and basically Barry had the option to look at these pieces of information from the future to change the present and you know live a different way I guess. Unlike its usual blue lighting the room is little red so you can tell that there is some sort of warning going off throughout the scene and you know the lights are flickering on and off so potentially something has gone wrong with Gideon or maybe it is just the fact that Despero is arriving I'm not sure anyway let's move on to the next bit of the trailer so we have another conversation between Despero and Barry and this is the bit where he reveals that his mind will crack and that will mean the end of the world we get a reaction shot of Barry and he is very confused he's like how could this be I know who I am and it's going to be very hard for him to accept all of this and we move on to the next shot and I think this really emphasizes this point because the camera move is a dolly zoom and basically it just goes right in on his face and zooms out and kind of distorts everything basically emphasizing the idea that he's completely lost like he doesn't know why the hell this could possibly happen to him and obviously bit by bit throughout the next couple of episodes you're going to see Barry's mind crack as Despero teases and that's going to be what is going to destroy the earth. Alright let's move on to the next shot we have a shot of Iris inside Joe's house and some sort of glass is shattering from what seems like the cupboard it could be something else because it is off screen but it seems she's maybe been attacked by Despero or whoever else is the villain in this episode but I presume it mainly is Despero. Now let's go outside we have Barry he's about to sprint and he sprints off in these two shots and these are the final shots of the trailer and it seems like he goes after Despero and he tracks him down once he returns to Central City and that's where we kind of leave things off and you know they have a couple of conversations here or there I don't know if they're gonna have any like huge big battles throughout this episode but I think it's mainly going to be about Barry's state of mind and that's going to be the main focus all right, let's move on to the next thing. So we have some photos for this episode. There's a bunch of photos online, but we're going to be going through the main ones that I think we need to talk about. So the first photo is of Barry and Iris. And so this is inside their apartment. And presumably this is going to be one of the scenes, one of the big scenes throughout the episode, I mean, where Iris is going to reveal something that is going to break Barry as teased in the synopsis. Let's move on to the next photo. We have the return of Black Lightning. This is obviously Cress Williams' first return to the Arrowverse since Black Lightning finished. Obviously, it's super exciting for fans of the Arrowverse and for fans of the show. And he's going to be in a couple of episodes at least throughout Armageddon. And this is, in fact, inside the Hall of Justice. We cut to this photo. You got the Star Labs man in the background, and you got the whole of the Justice League here. And you know what's so funny is the fact that you've basically got Black Lightning, yes he is here and he does return and he exists in the Arrowverse, but he doesn't have his own show anymore and the only person that has his own show is literally Barry and you're going to have the new version of Batwoman obviously taking over for the old Batwoman. But the big thing here is the fact that we got Supergirl right here and her chair is completely empty obviously because she's not there. Martian Manhunter symbol's not there and pretty much everyone's gone. Obviously Superman does exist and he is one of the leading members who's still around. But apart from that, they're gonna need to refill the Justice League if they want to properly form it. Obviously I don't think they're gonna form it again in this crossover 
but you're going to see a lot of those newer characters, although they're not on shows, they're going to be showing up and potentially one day we'll see a full Hall of Justice once again, but nevertheless, it's very exciting to see them back once again. Okay, so we've got this photo of Barry and he looks completely shocked and this is definitely outside during one of his confrontations with Despero and it seems Team Flash is going to be going against Barry. Look, at Barry's apartment is completely wrecked and this is most likely caused by something that he's done and even Caitlyn points a gun at Barry and he's got to have done something completely terrible for Caitlyn to draw a gun on him. Let's move on from here. We have Caitlyn and she is doing the check, like I said, at one point in the trailer. So it seems everything settles down and then Barry maybe snaps or maybe it goes the other way around. Anyway, the last couple of photos, Barry's outside and he meets Despero. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel if you do that. Also subscribe, we are trying to reach 110,000 subscribers, we are pretty much bang on 109,000, so if you subscribe and share the video around, share the channel around, it would be much appreciated as we that goal. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch one of my newer videos, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.